Hey, what's going on weavers? Tim here again, and I've got a gin in my pocket. This is the Damn Designs Gin XL, that is. For those of you that have been with me long enough, you know I'm a fan of sharp and pointy things. So when Adrian over at Damn Designs reached out to me to see if I wanted to check out this prototype, I was more than willing to get this in my hands and in front of the camera. So this knife was sent to me to check out, but I did not receive any monetary compensation for making this video, and I just wanted to be transparent about that. So I previously did a review of some Damn Designs EDC gear, and this is not my first experience with that brand. And getting right into it, some of you may be familiar with the original gin, which is this little guy here. And the current one now is this supersized version. It is quite literally an enlarged version of the original with just about the same proportions and design. Oh, and in case you were wondering, the term jinn in Muslim and Arabic mythology refers to a supernatural spirit. So that aside, looking at the knife, let's start with the blade. We've got a drop point blade. This does come in a Tonto blade shape as well. And it's got a nice belt finished satin with the Damn Designs logo laser etched on the side and no other billboarding except for the T2 marking on the other side, which is great. I love when knife blades are nice and clean. Now overall, this blade is a bit on the stubbier looking side with an edged portion that is just under three inches, but the blade and knife overall is quite tall. It's also got a sharpening choil, which is nice. And this can actually double as a finger choil, but I would be careful with that as it is sharpened to the heel. In terms of slicing capability, it is quite thin behind the edge, but not too thin while still maintaining some strength. And lastly, there is the opening hole, and that is one of the ways to open the knife. And above that, some thick cut jimping, which is actually quite functional. Now getting to the pivot and how the knife opens, it is riding on ceramic bearings. So the blade deploys super smoothly via the thumb hole or when using the front flipper tab. And as you can see, it is drop shoddy smooth like oiled glass. And there is no play in the blade whatsoever, up, down, or side to side. It's got this hexagonal pivot on the show side, which is also a nice touch. And I gotta say, flicking this knife open is super satisfying. It's got this nice thwack. The detent on this knife is really well balanced and just about perfect in that it doesn't require too much force to push the blade out, but at the same time it's strong enough to hold the blade in the handle. As you can see, it can't be shaken out. Now unfortunately, the micarta version you see here will not be available. Due to a change in the manufacturing partner, the available options are the titanium frame lock version, which is in S35VN and a G10 version in 14C28N, and all the prices are reflected in the materials. Ergonomically speaking, the handle design is great in both the natural and hammer grip, and again, you can choke up on this one slightly using the choil, but I would be careful. Now getting to the butt end of the knife, an orange G10 backspacer, which I think goes really well with the knife, and a thin deep carry pocket clip that I found works just fine and does its job without creating any hot spots. So overall, a really well-made knife that has some pretty great materials and a really unique and interesting design. It's also fun to fidget with, as all you knife people out there know that that's what you mainly do with your pocket knives. You can open it via the thumb hole, you can spidey flick it, and you can use the top flipper to pop it open as well. So I put this guy to the test on moving day about a month back, and it did just great cutting tape and breaking down boxes, which is probably the hardest tasks I put it through as a city dweller. The one criticism I have for the knife though is that it is quite wide in profile, which means in the pocket it does have a decent footprint. For me, I carry my EDC knife in the back right pocket, so sometimes when sitting on a hard chair or surface, I can feel the knife in the way a bit, compared to say the Benchmade bug out here, which has a way slimmer profile and about the same amount of edge. So not a deal breaker for me, but just something to consider. So at this point in time of the video, Dam Designs is running an Indiegogo for the knife, and I'll have a link to it down below. And if you're interested in getting one, feel free to check out the page and back that Indiegogo. So thank you for hanging out with me on this one. I hope you like this video and I'll see you all on the next one.